Did you know you can now grow mushrooms in mistlands? Sadly, not the regular yellow and red ones, but instead the brand new fungi that you can actually find. It's pretty obvious, but I'm gonna guide you through some steps and how you can hopefully keep some of your crops safe from some of them yarls. Leave a like if you find it useful and let's go. So if you'd read the patch notes for the mislands, you would have been maybe confused by the following sentence. The new mislands mushrooms can be grown from the comfort of your home. That led me and a bunch of others to believe that maybe there was a way we'd be able to place these in our houses and maybe not grow them in the mislands. But the fact is you still do have to grow the two new crops in the mislands, much like you have to grow the crops that you find in the plains in the plains. So just like it always is, you have to cultivate the land in the mislands. But as you've seen, there are definitely some spots that you can't actually cultivate. Obviously, you can't cultivate any of the big rocks or cliffs. It's only these big grassy areas that you'll actually be able to go ahead and cultivate. You find the new mage caps and the yotan puffs all around. Obviously, yotan puffs are more in these little valleys, and that's where you can go ahead and then just plant them just like you normally would. You'll get three back, and then of course you can plant another and keep the two. If they're too crowded or too close to structures, you'll notice they'll turn from white to blue. So if they're white, that's actually a good sign that everything is going well. What I have found is that these plants do need that extra little bit of space compared to some of the other crops. I feel like in the early days of Alheim, you definitely needed to be really, really regimented in exactly how far away you built your crops. And then at some point, it's just got a bit easier. You can grow lots of them closer together, but you definitely need about a, I would say, a good meter distance between them. It's the same with the autumn puffs as well. If they're not growing correctly, they'll actually be yellow rather than the more paler white yellow color. What I did find was there are certain places where it might be even easier to set up a little base or certainly somewhere just to have the farm away from your main base. And that's what you really need to aim for. Having a portal somewhere, nowhere close to where you normally are getting up to stuff. That's because you don't want the yarl coming over too often. And so you don't want to be doing anything around your main base like building or crafting or landscaping that could alert the yarl too much. It's so probably not the best idea to go ahead and start farming next to an excavation site unless you've already cleared that excavation site out. It does show though there's a lot of lands actually available in mislands. You just need to find it a little bit better and go deeper into the valleys. Your best bet is to build some sort of stone or marble construct around the sideways. Obviously marble is the best. And again, don't build your pieces too close to your crops. It won't offer complete protection, but it's next best thing if you really want to have a farm directly in the mistlands. It should take two in-game days for your crops to grow, and the best way to really make a farm is to build on the very edges of the mistlands. Ideally, you're looking for something that's going to border something like a plains or black forest. This won't make it completely safe. The Yarl can come out of the mist and invade other areas sometimes if they're alerted, if they're that close to the edges. Likewise, the Seekers can do that as well. But you have got a better chance of being safe if you are on the edges. So that's what I ended up doing, utilizing this plains border, having one side filled with the mistland crops and the other side filled with plains. You're still probably better off protecting it completely with a marble wall a little box going around it obviously or otherwise maybe using the brand new verger spikes you can't grow any other crops in the brand new mistlands other than turnips which of course can be grown almost anywhere except the mountains and that's about it my joy at first that maybe being able to grow my mushrooms somewhere else was very short-lived they are just referencing the facts and differentiating between these fungi and the regular mushrooms hence why they're saying you can grow these at home only if your home is in the mistlands I do think they should introduce some way to grow the regular mushrooms in the future. But there we go. Let me know how you're getting on. Have you got any cool tips or ideas about a perfect farm? And I'll see you very soon for more guides.